Hey everyone, this is CEO 100 Able, and today I am making another Windows 3.1 tutorial. This time I will, I'm going to be showing you how you can allow Windows 3.1 to use CD-ROM discs. First of all, Windows 3.1 by default does not come with CD-ROM drivers, so you have, you'll have to use a separate standalone device that allows you to install CD-ROM drivers. Basically, you would do that from either a floppy disk image or possibly a CD-ROM disk. Or better yet, a floppy disk would be a good choice. It would definitely work for that for sure. So with that, let's get on with the tutorial itself. First, you'll have to go online and find the right IS IMG file for the drivers, which I already have done. So let's go over to the floppy section. I'm using Virtual PC 2007 right now, so that's why I just clicked on it. So let's go to Capture Floppy Disk Image, and you have to select CD-ROM.IMG and click Open. Next, you'll have to open up File Manager. Yep, as you can see, I already have um, the, the CD drive available on here, but I'm I'm going to go ahead and have this uh, reinstalled anyway. So go to the A drive, which is preferably the floppy disk, and click on the install.exe file. And this screen will come up with a black background. Then it says directory information, install directory, C, CD, ROM. So have press enter when OK is highlighted and the installation is in progress. Once it's done, you'll get a message saying completely installed. Just press enter. And there you go. That's how you install install CD-ROM a CD-ROM driver for Windows 3.1. And now you can use CD-ROM disks on Windows 3.1, like when you want to install something like um, a Sound Blaster 16 drivers and and PC games and like Humongous Entertainment games, and you know all of that. So that's it for this tutorial. But to end this video, I just want to let you know that I am having a problem with installing one of my games on here. So let's go over to the D drive, which is working now. For instance, I am trying to install Amos Preschool because I just, I'm planning on doing a walkthrough for the game as requested by Ghost 100 Buster, but I want to be I'm planning on having it installed f on this operating system because I couldn't get the game's installation to work on any of my Windows 95, 98, 2000, and ME and XP virtual machines. I somehow got it to work on my original Windows Vista Home Premium virtual machine before it crashed, uh, before the, com the computer crash occurred last year, but I've lost it after that same crash occurred, so I had to make a new one, and fr even from there, I can't seem to get it working any anymore because I don't remember how. So right here on Windows 3.1, when I click Setup, I get this message saying, insufficient memory to run an application. Quit one or more applications or free up disk space to increase available memory. Then try again. When I hit OK, it just exits. Oh, sorry about that. And I go over to, um, well, first I minimize this and when I select help on program manager and click this, I just take a look here and I the memory says here 243,669 kilobytes free and the system resources says 81% free which is a good thing because I have over 50% of the system resources have free and even with this it still doesn't seem to be working 
So, if you know how to um, fix this problem, please comment below. I need your help on this, so I can do a, a walkthrough of this one particular game. So, that'll be it for this tutorial, which was the first part of this video, and goodbye everybody, that's about it.